Alright, so welcome back. This tutorial is about the assembly, uh, the create assembly tool. So go to the tools tab, click open create assembly window to bring up the interface. Now right now I need to actually have something built, which I do not have. Let me clear out what I was working on as, my, as I was demoing everything. Okay, so let's say I actually want to, let me use the pink fill, create a little something worth actually saving. And I'll erase those. Okay, so this little thing right here, it's a little path I created. So I'm going to select all these and add them to the actual assembly. By the way, if you accidentally set, select children of the actual objects you care about, that's not a big deal at all. It will still work just fine. It'll automatically determine where the parent is and select the parent properly, so no worries on that. Now, I want to point out that if you click anything in here, you see it's changing the selection there. It's also changing it in the hierarchy itself as well. Also, if you click on it here, it changes it in there. Now, what are we changing? This is the anchor. So, um, whatever the actual center location of this, now this is actually on the bottom of the prefab in the center. That's actually where 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z is located at. So, by selecting that, that means for the entire prefab, this model 000, this, this game object, will be used for the entire new prefab or assembly that you're creating. So next step, step three, you select your destination folder. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it inside the pixel forest, inside the prefab's root folder. Select the folder. I'm not going to change the name, leave it as new assembly, and create final assembly. In fact, I have that folder selected so you can see the assembly right there. It doesn't show up in here until I click load prefabs from the, from the folder again. So I select that. It's already set as a default folder because it's what I've been using. And there it goes. I can now, and I want to show how it's spaced. You can see, like I said, the anchor is the center of that one dirt uh, block right there. So you can actually create your own prefabs within mass itself to build larger worlds. Uh, if you're creating a dungeon crawler, you can have certain rooms and wall setups done with your own randomizations that you're going to use every so often save you a lot of time that way all right if you have any um well i look forward to talking to you on the next video if you have any questions again reach out to me on my discord server my webpage is fertile soil productions.com our discord server if you search for fertile soil productions discord you will find me i also have a twitter profile that's at soil fertile um, I have a page on itch as well as this tool is available on Unity Asset Store. Thank you.